Hello everyone, I am Suman Thakur, Technical Application Engineer at Sanajar India. Welcome to our educational series, Decoding the Sound. In this video, we will continue with the frequency coordination of multi-channel wireless mixed system, comprising of in-ear monitor systems and wireless microphones with the help of Sanajar Control Software WSM. This will happen especially when you do not have much time for technical setup in your live show. In part 1 of this video, we shared how to configure your in-ear monitor through EG setup. And now we will learn how to do it in a professional setup. But our multi-channel system also has 8 channels of digital 6000 wireless microphones and four channels of EWDX wireless microphones. And now we must carry out the complete coordination of all these connected devices. Let us start with Professional Setup. Now open Professional Setup under Frequency Manager tab. The Professional Setup window contains eight tabs. And these tabs are arranged from left to right in the most logical order for a live setup. Let's start with the very first tab, which is Devices. Here you see all your connected Sanajer devices. If you look at some of the devices, you do not have permission to click on the checkbox, as these are stationary transmitters. You can only scan the connected receivers. In this view, you can see that all the connected Sanajer devices are displayed in the upper part of the screen. Still sometimes, you may need to add some other devices or maybe custom devices which is there in the system and you need frequencies for those devices as well. To add such devices, click on Add Devices tab here, a new screen pops up. Here you can select either Sennheiser or custom devices. For now, let us select custom device. Select a device from the device type list box and specify its maximum noise level. Say the device type is FM mic and the maximum noise level is 10 microvolt, which is good enough, or maybe 20 microvolt on a safer side. If necessary, adjust the minimum frequency spacing, but 400 kilohertz is again good to go. Adjust your setting in the system frequencies area. Say the custom device in which your system operates in the window of 480 megahertz to 535 megahertz. So let me put here that frequency range 480 to 535. Here you can select the desired number of channels. For example, consider you have four channels of custom devices in your system. Now add them and cancel to close this window. Should you need to edit the parameters or delete any device, you can select the device and click this edit or delete button to perform the desired action. Next is the frequency scan function. As all my EM6000 receivers and EWDX EM4 receiver are loped through and using the same pair of antennas, I will scan one of the digital 6000 receivers. Select one EM6000 receiver in the scan area by clicking on the checkbox and perform frequency scan. This will take some time. And you can see the progress of a scan in a scan area and the advancing spectrum scan in the graphical overview. Once the scan is over, go to next tab. Frequencies Bands. In this tab, you can set the prioritization levels for the frequency coordination and also exclude the disturbing frequencies from the coordination results. To add a frequency band parameter, click on Add button here. Now, in this tab, you can see you can specify discrete frequencies or maybe interference frequencies. If you know the usable band, you can specify that also. And if you know that within your working window, 
a particular frequency band is not usable, you can also mention that. But at this point of time, I don't have any such need, so I leave it for now. Next is the system region tab. Defining system region is useful when you want to operate certain devices or device groups in defined frequency ranges. You can use the system region feature to separately set and manage microphone and monitoring systems. To add a system region, click on Add System Region tab. In order to define system region for these devices, or the group of devices, I will select them one by one and move them to right hand side box. So at this point of time, I'm doing this for my in-ear monitor system. I know I have eight channels of in-ear monitors and I'm going to move them all to the right hand side. Name it as maybe IEM system region and define the frequency range here. So, this system is working in the frequency range of 718 to 790 megahertz. And in case, if I am allowed to use this frequency range, I am good to go with this. Click OK, and then you are done. Now add another system region, and now we have a situation here. So I know that all these devices, the rest of the devices, wireless microphones, be it Digital 6000, be it EWDX system, or the custom devices, all are sharing almost the same frequency window. So now we have to be careful and define dedicated system regions for all of them. So let us select maybe the Digital 6000 system and move them on right hand side. So, eight systems, okay. Name it as maybe D6K system region and assign a frequency region of 470.2 to maybe 485 megahertz. I see, okay. Now the next system region could be maybe EWDX, all the four channels, name it as EWDX and I can go with frequency range from 490.2 to maybe 500 megahertz. Good. Last but not least, I also have some custom devices. Maybe I can use a frequency range from 505 to maybe 520 megahertz and name it as custom system region. After confirming the add system region window by clicking on OK, the system region is stayed in the upper window area and the frequency range used by the system region is displayed as blue bar in the graphical overview. So do you need to edit the parameter or delete any system region? You can select the system region from the upper part of the window and click this edit or delete button to perform the desired action. Next tab is the spare group which allows you to calculate spare frequencies for your system. To add a spare group, click on Add button. Now, if you want to calculate some spare frequencies for your system, select them one by one, say digital 6000, and I wish to have, say, maybe four spare frequencies. I call it spare group one, okay. So, this I have put in my wish list for the coordination. I can add another spare group, say for my DX system, I need two more frequencies. Spare group two, let's say okay. 
Maybe I also need some spare frequencies for my inner monitor devices. So say I need at least four frequencies. Okay. So now I have entered my wish list here. Next is the coordination tab, which allows the calculation and coordination of intermodulation frequencies that are suitable for the conditions at the venue. In this upper window area of coordination tab, click on start coordination. The coordination of intermodulation key frequency starts and the results are displayed on the left hand side of the upper window and are continuously updated. In this area of the coordination tab, displays the number of coordination results and this information remains visible even when you change to another tab, like this. If you select a coordination result, the coordinated frequencies are displayed in the selected coordination box on the right hand side of the upper window area and are also shown as solid colored lines in the graphical overview here. Now select the coordination result here and move to next tab allocation. So in this case, I will go with maybe first one and then go to allocation tab. The allocation tab allows you to allocate frequencies to channels, either by drag and drop or automatically and to edit the allocations. The frequencies are displayed in the selected coordination box on the left hand side and the channels are displayed in the allocations box on the right hand side of the upper window area. Now automatically allocate frequencies to channels by clicking on allocate automatically. Here the allocated frequencies appear as dotted lines in the graphical overview. Finally. This is time to send the allocated frequencies to connected devices. Click on Send to connected devices in the upper window area of allocation tab. The sending status window shows a progress bar indicating the progress of frequency allocation to connected devices in percent. The list of messages displayed progress information in text form. Once the frequencies are allocated, close this window. Now all the stationary devices have been assigned their frequencies. You can sync the portable transmitter and in-ear receivers to their respective stationary devices one by one and then you are all set to go. One more point. Where do you find the additional frequencies intended for other devices or the spare frequencies which you have asked for? On professional tab, you have all the additional frequencies mentioned here against the specified devices. Be it the connected devices, spare frequencies or the frequencies for custom devices. Alternatively, to see the spare frequencies, close the professional tab and select one of the devices for which you want to see the spare frequencies. Double click on it to open its properties. At the bottom, you see a lifeguard. Click on this and you have all the available spare frequencies here. Now you are all set and ready for the show with duly configured multi-channel mix setup comprising of wireless microphones and in-ear monitors. Stay tuned for our next educational video. Thank you for watching this video.